Ten. The mother and grandmother of a four-year-old girl killed in Opelousas are speaking out for the first time. The four-year-old and a 46-year-old man were killed in a shooting in the 700 block of Maya Street. Three other children, a 17-month-old, a 7-year-old, and a 16-year-old were all hospitalized. News 10's Britt LaFaso spoke with the heartbroken family of the young girl killed in the gunfire. Opelousas police say the shooting stemmed from a physical altercation between two women. Two men joined the dispute and multiple shots were fired in an apartment complex. One of those bullets killed four-year-olds where Caitlin Cola, her mother, heard it all. They took my baby from me. They took her. Aisha Thomas, who does not want her face shown on camera, says she was at home with her children when she heard gunshots. All I could hear from coming from the front room was 15 shots. I come to the front, they all shot up. They shot up. The four year old gone. She passed. And my, she ain't passed at the hospital. She passed home. Thomas says the men who ran to her apartment just started shooting. They plan now, they plan to swipe out everything. They went for everybody in there. Her seven year old, now back home, was shot in the hip. Her one year old, also shot, still in the ICU. Her four year old, Rock Haplin, was killed. When they came at me to get my grandbaby, my grandbaby was not supposed to be on no sidewalk with nothing covering their body. Rock Haplin's grandmother says it's the worst pain she's ever experienced. It's all right, and that's for a mother and a grandmother. No one was supposed to see nothing like this. Even though Raquelin has passed away, her mother says she still has five children and always will. I still have five. She's still here. No matter what, I'm not going to say for her. She's here. She's here. So in my heart, I have five. I have a four. I have four that's living and I have an angel. Opelousas police have a warrant for one suspect for two counts of first-degree murder, three counts of attempted first-degree murder, and home invasion. They've not yet released the name of the suspect. Britt LaFaso, KLFY, News 10.